Hi guys, I'm Nat, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to go out to Colador to do some maintenance. Uh, the girls are heading out over there somewhere with the paddle board and I'm gonna take the tender with Mrs. Nat. <laughs> and we're gonna do some work on the hull and the woodwork and maybe even start painting the deck. Hey. Tough getting it in the water. The tide is going right out now. Uh, so we came out today just to do some maintenance on the boat. A bit green at the bottom. Yeah, it needs cleaning. It needs a good clean. Wow, it's really green that. Yeah. To come one day and clean it. But last time we were here, we realised that there was lots of seaweed and barnacles growing on the bottom of the boat. So we're going to try and get rid of those. I also wanted to do something about the uh, woodwork um, and the doors got some doors that uh, I'm lucky to have a spare set of doors so I can take one set off bunch them up whilst the other set are still on the boat secure secure on the boat uh, so we're going to switch those over today Okay, so here are the doors that we've got on at the moment. You can see they're quite weathered. Uh, they used to be brown colour like that. The varnish is all weathered off in the winter season. Um, so there's my spare set, which has been varnished up. So what I'm going to do is grab these out. And I'll need to remove the, bracket, the uh, lock there. And then 
I'll be able to put these in and it should be looking smart. Okay, so that's that done. And look at slide the doors back in place. There we are, that is looking way smarter. Ready for the next season. So we can take the other ones back, and varnish them up, ready for replacing the next time. Yes, Justin, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> So, for some reason, all these fish are just hanging out at the back of the boat. If we had a line, <laughs> we could just catch them just like that. Yeah, we could call some fish. Just reach down. <laughs> yeah, grab it. Just grab it by the tail. Yeah. Uh, grab it on the fly. net. No, I feel bad. <laughs> Scoop them up with a net. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? So, this is what the girls have been working on. Uh, this side hasn't been done yet. You can see. Lots of weed, barnacles, attach themselves to the bottom. So that can't be efficient when you're sailing along, trying to glide through the water. Uh, so if I go around to the other side, uh, this is the side that they have done. And I just went over it for a little final kind of clean up. That is looking way cleaner. I'm liking that. And now they're working on polishing the wood, put some teak oil on the wood, and they're just about to get onto the other side, so I'm going to bring the board around the other side for them. Well, we've had a good afternoon here. Um, done lots of jobs. Um, the girls are still working on cleaning the starboard side of the boat. So we're get rid of that weed that's off there. Uh, the port side looking awesome. Uh, we're just at the turning of the tide right now, lowest tide. Um, and I was just talking to my wife about the rule of twelfths. Uh, so that now would be a good time to be heading across the river again without so much tide. The girls were finding it a little bit difficult when we came across with the water that was going out of the river and the tide going out, so they were fighting against the current. I mean, they had a laugh and they got here and it was great. But right now it'd be much easier because the tide is much slower. So the rule of 12 is, let's say, let's say it takes six hours for the tide to go out and then six hours for the tide to come back in again. It's actually a little bit less than that. But every hour, uh, so the first hour, as, as the tide's going out, one twelfth will go out in the first hour, then two twelfths in the second hour, and then three twelfths in the third hour, another three twelfths in the fourth hour, two twelfths again in the fifth hour, and one twelfth in the sixth hour. Um, so it's slowest in the first hour, and it gets faster and faster through the middle hours, and then slows down again on the last hour. Um, so that's how that works out. Right now the tide is just about turning, so the boat starting to move around on its mooring. The water coming in from the sea is starting to push the boat up whilst the river is still flowing outwards, so it's turning about the boat around. Um, so the corridor is now sort of facing just off upstream, and eventually we'll be facing downstream very soon. Uh, so we'll probably take advantage of the slower tide and head out. Uh, there's big sandbanks between us and home, which is directly over that way. So we'll probably just go across the sandbank, drop the wheels on the dinghy, pull it across the sandbank, over to water on the other side, and then head out. All right, uh, it's been a pretty good day. Maybe I'll have a chat later. Ciao, ciao. So, guess what, guys? Yep, we ran out of fuel for the little motor. So there's a learning curve, something to think about for next time. 
if you don't make a mistake, as long as it doesn't kill you, then you'll learn from it, right? Okay, so we've got quite a long way to go. Uh, Nat's rowing. So we've got to go all the way over there. Where those cars are in the distance. Quite a long way. And the tide is coming in now, so it's hard work to row. Um, meanwhile, the girls are having fun. making their way back to Topsham over there actually it's such a beautiful place to be we are so lucky oh better catch up with that